How's it going, YouTube fam? Your boy Sakai R here coming at y'all once again with another motor vlog. Shit. And uh, today, I'm gonna go over something with you guys that I think everyone will find pretty interesting. And I think it'll be a great piece of advice as well. go over with you guys today man um, something I've noticed about some of the more popular motor vloggers out there like uh, you know I'm talking about people who are who've broke a um, hundred a hundred K okay motor vloggers who broke a hundred K they gotta be the most popular in the world or the most famous anything like that but they're over a hundred thousand I've noticed that almost each of them have their own catchphrases you know like they have things that you can distinguish, distinguish them by, or let's put it this way, um, if you're watching another motor vlogger out there, let's say it's somebody who just, somebody brand new who just came on the scene, only got like two subscribers and stuff, and if they say these things, you can instantly be, tell and be like, okay, you watch this person, you watch that person and stuff, right? Yeah, so, one of the things I noticed, like, if you want to be a popular motor vlogger, this isn't, this isn't necessarily true, this is my opinion, and I've already come up with my own for the things we're going to tell you guys about, but what I've noticed is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, no, let's start off with the, the first one, the first person I saw who I started recognizing over the course of their videos says the same thing quite often. Do it with Dan, or do it with Dickhead, however you guys want to call the motherfucker. <laughs> so this dude out of Georgia name, do it with Dan, right? He has a couple of things that he says all the time. Things where if you see if you see or hear anyone else say it on their channel, you'll be able to instantly tell you watch do it with Dan, don't you? <laughs> he has old Billy <laughs> and damn near every vlog. You'll hear Stan say old Billy. And there's a I'm a real boy or a real boy. Something along those lines like that. He he says all types of different ways and stuff, but that's another thing that uh, do it with Dan says all the time. And um the last one. Some people might find offensive, but if you understand Dan, the uh, the year he was born in and stuff, you guys gotta understand that's just how we how people spoke in that time. Like, let's see, I think Dan was born in like uh, 94, 93, one of those two. I, I don't know exactly when his birthday is, I'm just guessing based off of his uh, current age and stuff. But yeah, back in those days, I was born in 91, dude. So the word fag and stuff, we, we use that word a hell of a lot. Why you fucking faggot? Stop being a faggot, man. Damn, shut the fuck up, you fag. Yeah, you know, like, it doesn't necessarily, I mean, you can use it when, as a derogatory term when talking about a, a homosexual person or a gay person, or you can just call them a fag, like I said, but it, it all depends on how you, how you use the damn word. You know, it can be taken multiple ways. Like, Dan says, fucking faggot, or what are you, gay? <laughs> so let's do it with Dan. He has, okay, so do it with Dan has. Oh, Billy. Um, excuse me. I'm a real boy. What are you, gay? You fucking faggot. So, yes, Dan has four. Next, we're gonna get into, uh, Baker X Darren. Darren, he's coming up with a number of his own, a number of things as well. Uh, he has more than two, I know that for a fact. There's probably others out there that I just don't remember right now, right? So, with Baker is there, you got chill. I mean, come on. Every time you watch one of his videos, he's, you're gonna hear that word, chill. <laughs> uh, so you got chill, you got sex juice, <laughs> as in gasoline, he calls it sex juice. Um, you got doll hairs, instead of him saying dollars, like when he's buying guys something, he'll say doll hairs. Uh, what else does he say? Oh, bunch of weird shit. Uh -oh. Chief in the chief, kai from a knife, chief in the chief, all, all kind of weird phrases and stuff. But it, it works for him. It works for him in his channel. The way him Austin ride, talking stuff. Oh yeah, mushroom tips. Um, like I said, he has a number of things that he says so frequently in his vlogs that if you hear him, 
If you hear someone else saying, you're like, okay, that's Big Red's dead reference right there. Next person we got is, uh, let's see, I'm going to go to, uh, no, let's go to Walterific. Yeah, Walterific, I think he uh, mostly has two things he says quite often. And they are uh, women's. Whenever he sees a, <laughs> a woman walking or driving or something, instead of, he, instead of him saying woman or women, he'll always refer to them as, whether it's one of them or in the group, it doesn't matter. They're always woman. So W-A-M-A-N-S. That's how he always refers to them. And then another thing that Walter Riff also says quite often is uh, Putis. <laughs> P-O-O-T-I-S, right? Uh, I don't know if he's using it in, re in reference to um, that damn game. Uh, what is it called? Um, it's one of those online-only siege type games. Cast. Damn, I, I forget what it's called. But I'm pretty sure someone, in the, someone remember it down below and put it in the comments for me. Uh, the game where the, the main, one of the characters you can use is named Pootis. He's a uh, really big guy. He's like a tank character. He has Gatling gun and all that stuff. It's a PC game. I, I forget what the fuck it's called. But yeah, there's that. I don't know where I'm at right now. Am I? Wait, is this where I think it is? Nope, never mind. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. So, with Walter Riffin, you got Womans and Pootis. I mentioned earlier, I'll tell you guys about a couple that I have for myself. Things I say quite often on and off camera. Uh, especially if you guys remember my, uh, my the previous intro I used to use for my videos. If you if you paid attention to it, that is. Uh, the last thing they would always say is, you damn it. <laughs> uh, that's what me and my damn wife say all the time. Whenever we're talking shit about somebody. <laughs> and I had a Yo-Yo Two Wheels. If you guys don't know who Yo-Yo Two Wheels is, make sure y'all go ahead and check her out. I'll put a link to the uh, channel in the description down below. <clears throat> But yeah, she's one of the friends I chat with quite often over uh, Facebook messaging and stuff. And she asked me, "What is a what is a damn it?" <laughs> like when I say "you damn it," like what what am I talking about? I told her, um, "You can't. It's not a literal thing. It's like saying when I say you damn it, it's like the same as saying uh, you dumbass or you idiot or derp. <laughs> it's, it's just one of those types of things for me, man. So I know y'all hear me say it quite often. <laughs> so as you damn it." Uh, what the fuck? Are you brushing your hair? I don't know if y'all can see, but this, okay, you brush your hair. All right. So yeah, I say you damn it. Another thing I, I say quite often, <laughs> you mother asshole. <laughs> ah, that's another one for me. These are the uh, things I'm gonna get put on key tags and shirts and stuff whenever I uh, get around to making some stuff. God damn, that bird keeps off in the cut. But yeah. For me, it's your damn it, you mother asshole, <laughs> and sensation. That's, a, that's another one I'm adding to my rep repertoire of uh, catchphrases. So, in summation, I think that if you want to be a popular vlogger, you need to have some, your own catchphrases that people can disting distinguish you by and whatnot, you know? But I know this ended up being way longer than I expected it to be. So, I'm going to end it right here, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, Go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already one of my beautiful subscribers, of course. And uh, if you guys have any other suggestions about things that people can do in order to try to make themselves popular, uh, what you see some of the big time mobile vloggers that you yourself do in your videos that you think really helps you uh, snag an audience, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. And hey, you even got my permission, go ahead and put a link to your channel or a link to your video that can give people some useful ideas, you know, because I myself may go and check them out as well. Like I said, I, oh, 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 damn, shit. <laughs> like I said, um, yeah, I'm always open to uh, criticism and advice about my channel. You know, if something you guys feel I should do or shouldn't be doing, just just let me know. I, I mean, I, the worst I can do is not take your advice. You know, not like I'm come to your house and knock on your door and then, and then spit in your face. <laughs> oh, shit. But that's it for me, fam. This is me, boys. I call it heart and ass for usual. Peace out, motherfuckers. Yeah.